Hey guys, it's Deborah from Time is Jewel by Deborah. So I am going out of my norm of jewelry and I got myself a five piece uh, name brand handbag from Swanee, Georgia, Thread Up. So I used to get these last year. Was it last year? 2021 and I stopped doing it and I figured why not? It's been a while, right? So I am going to see what lovelies we got and if these are um, in really good condition, I can pop up prices in here, or you can always email me at timeisfilledbydebra at gmail.com. And um, if you're interested in one of the purses, at the end I will put a snapshot of each purse. Okay, so I ordered this February 27th, 2023. Right, so here we go. It's looking like a fall winter theme, which is fine. I love beige. I personally carry a gray purse all the time. That way I don't have to switch it out <laughs> with the seasons. Alright, so first up we have a Kate Spade. Let's see. Super cute. It is beige. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Little dirt right there, which hey, that's fine. And I don't really clean up purses and shoes anymore. That's why I quit getting them bags because I just did not want to do it. But this looks in great condition. So like that, let's see if this is broke or, okay. This looks in good condition. And I see the problem, okay. So here it is broken where you clip this on. So. You could take this off and carry it as a handbag like this. So that is the issue on this. That metal is broken and I'm not sure if it's fixable. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in this, shoot me an email and I can give you a great price. All right. We've got another Kate Spade. This one's a little bit, um, it's a, a leather. And it's got some like dings in it, like it's been pressed. It is a coin purse. It has been used, but it's in pretty good condition. Let's open up the back. So it's a little wallet too. Made in Italy. So it is black and leather. Looks like it's in good condition, except for, you know, the little dings. But that happens with leather. When you have stuff on top of it, it gets scratched really easily. The Kate Spade in the uh, gold printing is pretty clear, so um, I will show that in the picture. Okay, number three, Michael Kors quilted a black purse. Let's see here. The inside looks good. It's small, which is kind of nice. There is a back flap purse uh, slot. And here, the Michael Kors is a little bit scratched up, but um, Michael Kors doesn't sell super quick for me, but um, it will sell eventually. All right. Got to get the mark by Marc Jacobs, right? So this is beige. It's pebbled leather. Super pretty. Uh, on the outside, it looks like it's good condition. The bottom has a little spot here, easy cleanup, but I sell these purses as is. And then um, like a little spot here so that could probably be conditioned out. No uh, strap here that I can see. Oh, it's on the inside. Okay. Let's check the inside strap. Looks good. The inside looks great. I will inspect that further to make sure there's no tears or anything. So there's just some minor stuff on the outside. Looks good. I'm checking for holes. I don't see any. So, okay. Mark Jacobs. And then my third piece, or my fifth piece, excuse me, is a Kate Spade, Spade tote bag. So, it's just got some fuzzies on it. Kate Spade, New York. Looks like it's in great condition. So I like that. That's not a bad accessory to get. Um, 
if this is the accessory, I guess I would call this the accessory. So, all right, I'm happy with this box. Um, I don't buy these very often, but um, yeah. So we got the Kate Spade, the Marc Jacobs, which is in pretty great condition. The Michael Kors, a little bit of wear on the outside. The Kate Spade. And the other Kate Spade, which has the broken strap holder here. Um, so, yeah, otherwise, I am not mad at this box. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. And if you are interested, email me at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com. And um, I can get one of these lovelies to you. And I will add pictures. See you guys soon. Bye.